I truly believe that the Washington Wizards have the best center rotation in the NBA, and I've talked about them quite a bit. But, and this is a team that has the final odds, and I'm still not going to say Scott Brooks is a good coach because he isn't. So before we start today's video, I want to hear your opinions down below. What do you guys think of the center rotation that the Washington Wizards has have, have had? And first off, Thomas Bryant it sucks that, you know, obviously he's out for the season with that torn ACL on his left knee. But hey, it's cool that also that this has shown Daniel Gafford and Alex Lynn. Maybe they flip Thomas Bryant. I do like Thomas Bryant. But either way, Danny Aptia being out since April 22nd with that hairline fracture in his right fibula. And, fibula. and then they got Roy Hichimara and Chandler Hutchinson. Roy, Roy Hichimara missed this game with a illness and Chandler Hutchinson ended up playing in the spot. So the Wizards are a team that I think... If you look at the center rotation, how it's opened up, let's just get into that. Okay, basically, it's not like they're anyone's being an elite rebound. Daniel Gafford, first off, Russell Westbrook's leading this team in rebounds since the All-Star break with 12.7. And behind him, it's Daniel Gafford with 6.1. And Alex Lynn being the other center with 4.6. With Roy Kichamara having 5.6 and Danny, Danny Abdia having 5.1. But Robin Lopez has 3.3, so if you add those all together, that's like they're getting about 14 and a half rebounds a game combined, Gatford, Lynn, and Lopez, and that's awesome. And then if you look at their blocks numbers, it's even more ridiculous. Gatford, Lynn, and Lopez combined are averaging 3.4 blocks a game, which, like, usually teams two center like when they have a two center rotation don't even get those numbers. Rarely do they get those numbers, and it's awesome. And then they have, you know other people getting like the occasional block obviously and it's cool because not only of some of their centers showing showing up that they can you know block and show they're being really productive rim runners there's multiple times where they're on transition they just have a big man just doing a beeline straight from the other basket to the other basket and just catching the ball in transition and finishing it if it's either robin lopez alex lynn or daniel gafford just all taking turns and you know daniel gafford has seemed like he's been the best rebound even though robin lopez has had his own good rebounding games and even alex lynn but yeah daniel gafford also seems like the best rim protector alex lynn does get the most minutes and that's because i think he's low-key the best one offensively and i'm not, I'm not putting any shame to daniel gafford or you know, I mean, Daniel Gafford gets 11 points. Can someone explain why they start Alex Lynn way more than Daniel, they over Daniel Gafford and Robin, Robin Lopez when Alex Lynn only gets like eight points and nine and five rebounds and he gets like about a block a game, but still, like, it's not like he's blowing anyone out of the water. I just was wondering that. But yeah, I think this is really interesting because they have this depth chart where it's Lynn start, Daniel comes off first then when daniel's there robin comes in unless lynn and i'm surprised with that guy's anthony gill anthony gill keeps blowing my mind and hey i like how they're using davis bertons to start setting screens and swinging the ball around but hey anthony gill has really started to carve out a little piece of the pie for him over here in the last five games 17 point 17 minutes getting 11 like 11 10 points a game getting a steal game and about 1.2 assists with 3.2 rebounds anthony gill guy who's you know been around the world playing basketball basically davis Burton's just been on fire he started the year off just looking terrible and everyone's like overpaid him too much money hey raul netto dude i saw this guy almost block gary trent jr i mean he had his hand but like hey he tried to trace down block against gary trent jr i love this guy this guy gets you a steal steal and a half every single game and he comes in he hits light out he plays as hard as anyone i've ever seen he's a pesky defender he's literally like that fly that you just keep swatting away and he won't go away and you're like get the hell away fly i don't want you around me fly you're not my friend mr fly but yeah you know, obviously, we could talk all day about Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal and how they set up plays for them to be amazing. But I just want to talk about Roy Hutchmara and how Utah Wanabea, Wanabea, I can't even say, the guy who plays for Toronto. How those two have opened up the basketball world for the Japanese. And, like, it's great to see that they're doing that and, you know, expanding the uh, game of basketball. It's a great game that Dr. James Naismith created. But yeah, that's it. 
Um, great center rotation. This team's going to be a threat in the playoffs. I love them. I want to hear your opinions down below. But that's it for me today, guys. Puppies. Oh.